Here I have an eight and a half by 11 paper that I folded in half and cut. And you can see here that I am going to draw a grid. Now the grid needs to have four boxes, right? So I'm just measuring and I'm using the ruler to kind of like make my lines even. And you can do this at home. And if you do not want to do this, you can go ahead and definitely use just blank paper or you can use regular notebook paper. But I chose to make the grid because I find it easier when working with the stem cane. We're going to go ahead and put the paper to the side and we're going to do a little bit of an overview. So here I have one unit. One unit. They both mean the same thing. One unit. One ten. One ten. They mean the same. Here we both have one hundred. 100 in the stamp and 100 square. One thousand. One thousand. I'm going to go ahead and get my piece of paper. And I'm using a marker just so that you can see the numbers clearer. And we're going to go ahead and start with the units. Says unit, ten, hundred, thousand. I'm going to make up a four digit quantity. Three units, five tens, two hundreds, four thousands. And I made sure that they were in between zero and nine, each of those numbers. Now I'm going to go ahead and build the quantity. Starting with the units, we need three units. One unit, two units, three units. Now we need five tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. Two hundreds, one hundred, two hundreds. Four thousands, one thousand, two thousands, three thousands, four thousands. I'm going to go ahead and verify one unit, two units, three units. Five tens, one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. Two hundreds, one hundred, two hundreds. Four thousands, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. It's been verified, and I'm going to go ahead and put a check. We are done building. I'm going to put away my stamps now. ahead and choose numbers in between 0 and 9. I chose two units, four tens, six hundreds, two thousands. So now we build this number. Now we're going to move on to addition. So that means that we're going to keep these numbers out and we're going to create a new 
four digit quantity. I'm choosing specific numbers that will keep me under 10. We are doing static addition. I have to make sure that the combinations will be in between 0 and 9. I'm going to go ahead and get my ruler and draw an equal sign in red so we can see it clearly. Okay, let's get ready to build our new number underneath, starting with the units. We need five units. One unit, two units, three units, four units, five units. Once it's verified, we put a check. Now when we do addition, we are going to need to push all the steps together. We're going to connect all the steps. And to get our answer, we're going to count all of them, starting with the units. I've counted seven units. I write seven. Now I move on to the tens. One ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. Now we're going to read the problem. Two thousands, six hundreds, four tens, two units, plus three thousands, two hundreds, one ten, five units, equals five thousands, eight hundreds, Five tens, seven units. Two thousand six hundred forty two plus three thousand two hundred fifteen equals five thousand eight hundred fifty seven. And we are done with that problem. We just did static addition. As I put away all the stamps, I'm going to go ahead and make another design under my old numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new equation. And you can make as many equations as you want. 